Today we're going to show you our top five favorite plazas. Welcome to the Plaza de Madera. Welcome to Plaza de Camarada. <laughs> Welcome to Plaza de Arasusu. One more time. That was so cute. Hello from San Luis Potosi, the capital city of the state of San Luis Potosi in Mexico. This is one of our favorite cities and in 2010 it was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And today we're taking you straight into the middle of the historic city center to show you our top five favorite plazas. We're just down the street from the first plaza that we're going to show you. It's about two blocks away from where we're staying right now, so we're going to head on over there. Welcome to the Plaza de Artemis. Plaza de Artemis is the main plaza in San Luis Potosi, and there are a lot of really interesting features here. Let's take a look at them one at a time. Behind me is El Kiosco de los Musicos, and what that means is the kiosk of the musicians. Along the top of the building here, which was built in the 1940s, are the names of some famous musicians here in Mexico. The building that you can't help but look at as soon as you come into Plaza de Armas is right behind me, the San Luis Potosi Catedral. Construction commenced in 1670 and it was finished in 1730. It's amazing to walk into the cathedral and walk around it. It reminds me of my time in Rome. It's just awe-inspiring and absolutely beautiful. As you walk into the cathedral, there's a main aisle that leads down to the altar and two large aisles on the side. There are statues all around, all different colors and architecture, Baroque style paintings and stone. And it just makes you think about how old this cathedral really is and all the history that took place with in its walls. of the humility. What's the humility? It means that he's humble. What does humble mean? It means meek, what but does, not weak. No, what does meek mean? <laughs> Right next door to the cathedral in the Plaza de Armas is the Municipal Palace or Palacio Municipal, which was built in 1855. This building serves as the seat of power for the president of San Luis Potosi and the headquarters for city authorities. We'd call this city hall in the United States. The Municipal Palace is a solid quarry building with two floors and a mezzanine. The most prominent feature of the building are the 16 arches that make up the front facade. There are seven along the front and nine on the side. I asked to go in, but they wouldn't let me. Okay, are you ready for this major plot twist here? The day after I originally recorded this video footage, we had gone back into the Plaza de Armas for breakfast. Brittany and I had split up. She was taking Caspian back out to our place, and I was getting some pun. On my way out of the panaderia, this guy randomly bumps into me, and get this, the guy is part of the president of San Luis Potosi's entourage. And here's what happened next. So I may or may not have just got invited by the president of San Luis Potosi de Mexico to go check out the palace and to take a photo. So here we go. It's the president, the president of San Luis Potosi. We just ran into him on the street and he invited us up to come and talk to him. So this is the palace. This is where he lives. This is City Hall. It's correct. Pass it. Pass it. He 
sí se puede grabar todo? Sí, 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 sí. Todo se puede grabar. Gracias. Si quieres, wow. y te saludo. Esta es la oficina del presidente municipal. Es una sala de música, originalmente. Es un espacio pequeño, pero muy bonito. ¿Me puedo quitar esto? Sí, claro. I just asked for permission to take off my mask. Uh, this is a music hall, and this is the office of the president of San Luis Potosí. And that is him right there. And uh, he's welcoming us to San Luis Potosí, to his city, which is... Estoy like dando a... la bienvenida a Eric a San Luis Potosí. Soy el presidente municipal de esta ciudad. Está en el centro de México, cerca de la frontera con Estados Unidos, unos 700 kilómetros. Y aquí es donde es la oficina de, del presidente municipal. Muchas gracias. Ven para que nos tomemos aquí una foto. Esto lo voy a dejar aquí un segundo. Ayúdate con la cámara. A cualquier precio. Me siento un poco no vestido no, no, bien. No, no aquí por favor en el celular primero. ¿Una aquí? Gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias. Por su tiempo, señor. A tus órdenes, Eric. Muchas gracias. Really nice guy. Whole lot of press. So we didn't get to see it the first time, but uh, I got to see it this time. You know. Just over here walking through the Municipal Palace by myself. Pretty cool. Though it was awesome meeting the president, it was unfortunate that Brittany and I had split up and that she and Caspian missed out on meeting him. I told the president about my family and he said that he would very much like to meet them and that I should get them and bring them back. So he told me he'd be around till 1 p.m., which was still a few hours away, so I went ahead and got him. So I found Brittany and Caspian and I brought them back with me. All right, we brought Brittany and Caspian back to meet the president. Pásame. Don Presidente es mi esposa Brittany Hola. y mi hijo Caspian. Pásame. We're going to take a picture right here on the square, baby. Wait, can we take our masks? Sí, our time with the president was unexpected but memorable. The photo itself only turned out okay, but the memory we made was priceless and will tell the story for the rest of our lives. But now let's continue our tour of the top five plazas in San Luis Potosí. Right outside the front door of the Municipal Palace is a statue, which is the next part of our tour of Plaza de Armas. The statue is called El Señor de las Palomas, and it has quite a story. Notice how the statue is staring directly at the municipal building we just took a look at? This is not by accident. The story goes that there was an industrial worker named Don Jose Moreno who, after retirement, would feed the doves by hand in the Plaza de Armas twice a day, every day of the year, and he was loved by the people of the city. The city was actually going to try and exterminate the doves, and Don Jose fell ill at the news. The people of the city rose up in protest, and the city relented and even paid to buy seed to give Don Jose who continued to feed them till the day that he died. This is the house of the Viceroy of New Spain, Don Felix Maria Calleja. It originally belonged to his wife. There are some things that are preserved intact from this building that dates back to the 18th century. One of them is a wood panel door and another is a large patio. If you look closely, this is actually considered the most elegant balcony in all of San Luis Potosí and one of the prettiest in all of Mexico. It has slanted ironwork and high quality cornices. Not to be outdone and last but not least, this final building in the Plaza de Armas is the Palacio del Gobierno or Government Palace. 
This building was started in 1770 and took 57 years to complete. It served as the presidential palace for the Republic of Mexico for a short time. So we're leaving the Plaza de Armas. Hope you enjoyed that one. But right next to it, about a block away, is the second one called Plaza del Carmen. And if you go just to the side of the cathedral and down this street, you can see the cathedral is right here. That domed building at the very end of this street is the start of Plaza del Carmen. Welcome to Plaza del Carmen. I remember when we were first here visiting back in 2019, we were just walking around exploring our neighborhood for the first time when we stumbled on this giant plaza. We couldn't believe it and all the buildings are so beautiful and we had so much fun exploring them. This beautiful church is called Nuestra Señora del Carmen. Beautiful may not be a strong enough word. In person, this church is jaw-dropping. The massive towering wooden doors are ornately carved, as is the exterior structure, which is all made of stone. The church was built in 1743 and is one of the most magnificent churches in the entire city of San Luis Potosí. I highly recommend a visit to Plaza del Carmen just for this church alone. We were only on our second of five plazas and we needed to take a break, so... This is the Vice Regal Art Museum. It was built between 1768 and 1771. The building has been used as a barracks, a warehouse, a jail, and offices, and was declared a national monument in 1936. This next building is the Teatro de la Paz, or Theater of Peace. Also located here in Plaza del Carmen, this is one of four national theaters of Mexico. It was built between 1889 and 1894 and has hosted a myriad of important political and cultural events. The theater presents plays, opera, music, dance, children's shows, and even hosts political conferences and government sessions. Right across from Teatro de la Paz is the National Mask Museum, or Museo Nacional de la Máscara. The museum is considered to be among the very best of Mexico due to its unrivaled collection of nearly a thousand masks from every corner of Mexico. This institution is dedicated to the study and promotion of Mexican masks and their cultural significance in the history of this amazing country and its beautiful people. All right, so leaving Plaza del Carmen, going back through Plaza de las Armas, we are heading to our next plaza. Caspian will introduce it to you in just a moment. This chapel is called the Loreto Chapel. It was built around 1717 and it's dedicated to the Jesuit devotion to the Santísima Virgen de Loreto and it's reported to be one of the most beautiful in the entire country thanks to its intricate Baroque facade. One of the things we love about San Luis Potosí the most in the historic area is it seems like no matter what road you turn on you end up on one of these beautiful plazas. So we've just left Plaza de los Fundadores and we are headed to our next plaza. You can start to see that no matter which direction you turn, there's beauty in architecture. The people here are really friendly. It's just an awesome place to visit, you guys. And one of our favorite things to do while we're here in the historic district is just walk around, see what we can discover. There's never a shortage of eateries, shops, things to experience. We decided to make a quick stop for lunch before finishing the last two plazas. And the last plaza we'll show you is Brittany's favorite plaza in the entire city. Just enjoy this brief walk with us and the natural sounds that we hear every day. Keep in mind that all of the five plazas that we'll show you in our video today are within 10 square blocks of each other. But first, 
We decided on Cafe El Cortal for lunch and wait until you see Brittany's plate. It's right here across the street in this yellow building. So Cafe Cortao, I opted for a regular breakfast and Brittany got the recommendation of the host. So we will see what all this goodness is right here. What do you think, Britt? Yeah, I'm excited. I didn't, I was ordering a key lime pie and the owner gave this to me. So thank you and I'm excited. <laughs> How is it, Caspian? Sweetie, thumbs up. Welcome to the Plaza of Aranzazu. The Plaza of Aranzazu is a very simple plaza. This was a convent here, and it's really well known for this dome at the very, very top that's all stained glass up there. Now, I wish I could get closer, but the building has been closed due to COVID right now. Inside the back of this building here is the Regional Museum of Potosi, which has the whole history of this area and whatnot, but it's closed right now due to COVID. Still a beautiful plaza, and we have one more to show you. So this little walkway between Plaza Aranzazu and our next stop is actually one of our favorite little walkways in town. A lot of restaurants and bakeries, along here and local artisans this beautiful wall of the convent massive stone wall this little place la oruga is actually one of our favorite places to eat in town This is Jardin de San Francisco, also known as Plazuela de San Francisco, and it is one of my favorite places in El Centro. And I love it because there's green space, there's shade, there's a beautiful fountain, and I love these buildings behind us. The Templo and the Secretaria de Cultura has a beautiful facade on it. It's really fun for people watching. Right down the alleyway are great restaurants. What is there not to love? This has been such a fun walking tour with you of our favorite plazas in the historic center of San Luis Potosí. Yeah, we really hope you've enjoyed it. Please drop us a comment if you guys have any questions. Subscribe to the channel and just wait until you see what we've got coming up. We are spending six months in the interior of Mexico. We love it so much and we are seriously just getting started. Hope you're enjoying the ride. We'll see you in the next video. See you later.